With this episode, we ramp up Greed Island and see Gone, Killua, and Bisky triumphantly exit the game, and really a nice surprise twist at the end to take us to the next arc. Hunter Hunter, Episode 75, Jing's Friends and True Friends. Well, hello, my brothers and sisters and hunters and fellow Greed Island players of the Nerd Nation. I, as always, am Jim, here to bring you another review on the awesome and 8-bit world-filled tale of Hunter Hunter. Now, the last episode, of course, saw the, uh, the defeat of Genthru, the bomber, and, of course, his, uh, his underlings. And, uh, and really, as things kind of wrapped up, we wound up seeing, um, you know, we wound up finding out that uh, now that uh, Gon and his, uh, and his crew there, uh, you know, Killua and, and Bisky and whatnot, had uh, collected 99 out of the 100 needed cards, uh, that there was going to be this quiz... Uh, that anybody could participate in, and a uh, hundred you know questions, and whoever got the most answers correct would actually receive the 100th card uh, to complete the actual game of Greed Island. So that's how things left off, and actually that's right where things pick up. Uh, actually, it, when it had left off, there was a number of players that had uh, you know just appeared, started appearing, uh, uh, potentially I'm assuming using a company cards, and um, and just started appearing around, and you were thinking, are they going to attack? Are they going to this? And right off the bat, we find out from a couple of the players, they say, listen, all we want to do is we're going to participate in the game, and if we happen to win that 100th card, all we're saying is, is would you give us 2.25 billion Jenny, which is equivalent to 5% of what the actual reward is for, you know, for completing the game. Now, they're unaware, of course, of the situation with Patera and everything else, but that's besides the point. They just kind of agree, and they're like, whatever, that's fine. So Killua and Gone and Bisky and everybody else have to go in and they take this test and it's uh, multiple choice questions and they get to get through to the end of it and uh, and as they get through to the end of it they go and they're going to announce over the, the loudspeaker or whatever you know who the winner is and we all kind of collectively are holding our breaths and, uh, and, and the most unlikely of candidates winds up winning with 87 out of 100 and that's our boy Gone, right? And I hate to say unlikely, but Gon is very much like the kind of dim-witted hero, you know? He, he doesn't seem to pick up on things um, that are, like, right in his face a lot of times. And didn't really strike me as somebody that would be good with book smarts and memorization skills, because all these questions were, um, you know, obviously based on, on the cards themselves and the game itself, which was very, very cool and very intricate and just wonderfully realized and set up. I mean... It's the type of thing where there was so much put into this that if a game developer, developer excuse me, ever wanted to actually sit down and create a Greed Island game, there's enough content here, and I'm sure especially in the manga, that you could actually go and have the, um, the, the rough frameworks as well as a lot of the characters, the backstory, the, you know, the locations, the, the different cards. The system is absolutely wonderfully realized. And I'm and sure... You know, it takes from a few different genres and a few different popular games, card games and things that we know. But nonetheless, though, um, it is still a very, very cool game. So what winds up happening, though, is uh, so Gon winds up winning, winning of course, that, that 100th card and then gets an invitation to the capital uh, after some, some back and forth nonsense with figuring out how they're going to actually get to this capital city. Gon winds up going to the capital city along with Killua and Bisky and has to go into this palace or what have you him, himself. He goes in and he winds up meeting a couple of his father, Jing's uh, friends, and winds up finding out that there was ten people that originally created the game, and Greed Island takes uh, the first letter of each one of their names, and that's what it's put together, the first one being Jing for the, the G in Greed, and then the R-E-E-D, and then I-S-L-A-N-D, all are the first letters of the, of the other ten, you know, people that, uh, that, that helped to create the game. So, we wind up, um, you know... We also find out too, and what's pretty important is that Gon gets this uh, this, this smaller binder, I guess you would call it, and in it he can put three restricted cards, only from restricted card slots, to bring back into the real world, right? Now we all know that they're actually in the real world, but three cards that can actually be brought back with them out of the game and can actually be used, right? So, uh, so they wind up going, and, and uh, Gon says, he says, well, you know, each one of us can pick a card, right? So Bisky winds up picking this blue planet card, and then Gon and Killa will wind up going and kind of snicker into themselves, or sort of an inside plan or joke that they have going, and Bisky wants to be on it. Anyway, they wind up getting out of the game, right? 
as they get out of the game and we wind up finding out and the other thing that's uh, worth noting as well too is again through the bomber as he was laying there tied up uh the guy that has that's a nen exorcist was able to come over place his hand on him and say i caught the bomber which ultimately winds up taking uh that uh, that little flower power timed bomb thing that he had on him off and he winds up going and, and uh, teleporting, transporting to Hisoka, uh, of course saying the name Krola, Krola Lucifer, which we know Hisoka came into the game as. And he's like, and he even says, he goes, you know, I'm going to make a fortune removing Nen from people. And I'm assuming from like Krola Lucifer and, uh, and anybody else that needs uh, Nen exorcism, right? So anyway, also that was something that was, it was pretty important and pretty worth noting. This was, in essence, this was a bridge episode wrapping up this arc and putting us into the next one, but it wasn't as slow as some of these bridge episodes that I've seen uh, in, in this series or really any other one. This one had a lot of content. But anyway, they as they transport are transported out of the game, Bisky has this blue planet card and when she uses gain to it, it makes this beautiful blue little marble gem that looks like a planet. And what we wind up seeing is that Gon and Killua, as smart as they were, and this was the part that I liked, right, and the, just the intricate explanation, Gon was the first one from the Paper, Rock, Scissors when they did it uh, to get into the game, right? As you get into the game, you can look in your binder and it will show any players that you've met beforehand, right? And the first one should, or, should have been Gorenyu, right, because that's the first player he met, but instead, the first player that it said in his book that he met was a guy named Nig, N-I-G-G. -G. He thinks that it's Gon comes to the conclusion that Nig was an anagram for Jing, right? And an anagram is just where they switch the letters around, same amount of letters, same letters, you just move them in different orders. And that he had actually been brought into the game as a baby or as a small child, and he doesn't remember, with his father, with Jing, right? So, although he doesn't really get any closer to his father in the game and just kind of gets some more teasers and things like that, he thinks, and so and Kilo obviously agrees with him, that they've kind of figured this out. So they want to go and take an accompany card, or they wanted to, out of the game. You can't do that though because it's not a restricted slot card. So what they wound up doing is actually going and taking an accompany card and then going and, and changing it into a restricted slot card, but then bringing this paladin's necklace out with them that they could then go and once they were out, revert the card back to become an accompany card and then say accompany on, Jing, or Nig, as they say, and that's how they wind up doing things. They say their farewell, they say their goodbye with Bisky. They offer for Bisky to actually go and come with them. Bisky does not, however, though. And, uh, you know, she says, that's fine. Well, you know, if I, if I, she just says to herself, if I hang out with you anymore, I'll get too attached, right? And she, you know, they, they kind of have their, their little bit of a tearful goodbye and what have you. Gone and Killa will wind up going in at the end of the episode, say, a company on Nig, right? And they go and they wind up appearing, and there's this fog and mist, and there's a tree. You can see the outline of the tree, and you see this dude sitting there fishing with his hat on and everything, and I'm wondering, are they finally going to get to meet Gon's father, right? Now, I don't know. I don't know if they are or not. I haven't watched ahead, but I'm certainly glad to be back in action over here and certainly thought it was a great way for an episode to end off and for us to end this one arc and, of course, to start into the next arc, which I'm told is just off the frickin' chain as far as just the type of development, the characters, the action, the story. The Chimera Ant arc I've heard is very, very good. So that is how things wrap up, and that's how the episode ends up. And my episode question for you, brothers and sisters, is... Overall, what were your thoughts on Greed Island as a whole, as an arc? How did you like it? How did you like the characters? How did you like the background? How did you like the story itself? Let me know what your answer is to those questions, or that kind of long convoluted question, in the comments down below. Feel free to hit the thumbs up, the like button if you should think that I deserve it, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. We look forward to catching all of you in the next one, nation. Thank you for watching, and remember to check out my other channels as well.